Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 2 assignment of the course Ethical Hacking. So guys, these are completely my probable solutions. I tried my best to give you the most probable solutions guys. So if you want to make any suggestions, you can please give that. And if I get any update regarding any change of the solution, I, I will update that in the comment section guys. So please watch the video till the end. If I make any changes, you can be able to note that. So do watch full video guys and please like the video, share this video and please subscribe our channel for more updates. So let's see the first question. Which of the following statement or statements is or not true? True for transparent fragmentation. So for first question, I have got two probable solutions guys. The first one is option C. Each fragment is treated as an independent packet. And the other one is option D guys. All fragmented packets are reassembled by host system. So mark option C and D. Next, moving on to the second question. Second one. For reassembling the fragmented packets at the final destination, which of the following header fields used by IP? So for second question, I have got three probable solutions. The first one is option A, fragment offset. And next one is option B, flags. And the final one is option E, identification. So I'm going with three options here, guys. A, B and E. Next, moving on to the third question now. third one an ip packet arrives at the final destination with the d flag set, a, set as one which of the following statement is true about the packet so for third question the answer that i have got is option a guys the packet has not been fragmented so mark option a as the probable solution for third question Next, moving on to the fourth one. Fourth question. In a packet, the value of HLEN is 8 and the total size of the IP, of IP packet is 1500 bytes. The number of data bytes in the packet will be. So we have to multiply this 8 into 4 bytes. So it will be 32. So in order, in order to get the data bytes in the packet, you have to subtract 32 minus 1500. So 1500 is the total size of the packet. So in order to get the data, we have to subtract this 32. So you'll get 1468, right? So 1468 should be the answer so i have got 1468 bytes guys next moving on to the fifth question fifth one which of the following statement is or not false for ip addressing so for fifth question i have got the probable answer as option c guys when a packet is routed to the destination network only the network number is used so this is the false statement so mark option c as the probable solution for fifth question next next question guys moving on to the sixth one sixth one which address classes do the ip addresses 10.16.75.12 192.10.85.120 belong to so this IP address the first one belongs to class A and the second one the second IP address belongs to class C so the answer is ultimately option D class A and C so mark option D as the probable solution for 6th question. Next, moving on to the 7th one. 
so before getting into this seventh question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs so for the course ethical hacking we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys these are completely the previous past various years a purely nptel based assignment questions guys with along with the answer and explanation for some of the questions will be provided so with five years of nptel experience we have collected these guys so here you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so with five years of nptel experience we have collected these guys these are completely according to the syllabus of nptel only so for one person it will be 300 rupees guys and for two to five persons combinedly it will be 500 rupees so if you are two to five persons if you can take this pack along with your classmates or friends who are doing the same course along with you so if you five five persons combinedly buy this for 500 so individually you can get for lesser amount right so each one will get 300 mcqs guys even if you are one person no need to worry you can get it for 300 per person only so last for the past few years many students have taken our pack and got benefited guys so you will get better preparation ahead of the final exam so to take it from now itself so that you can get more time to prepare at the back end so 300 mcqs for one person it is 300 rupees guys for two to five persons combinedly as a group it will be 500 rupees guys you can share the lesser price individually so if you want to purchase then mail me to this email id guys bk179470 at the rate gmail.com so mail me to this email id asking for the payment process so that i will reveal there so remember guys only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys because many students are mailing us so we have to set everyone in the priority order so first serve first come will be followed so message at the earliest guys so that we can respond very fast so this is the mail id guys bk179417 at the rate gmail.com i will give the same email id in the description box as well so you can note it down there and you can mail me guys so for two to five persons combined it is 500 rupees guys per each group not for one person for two to five persons if you take it combinedly per group it will be 500 rupees guys individually lesser for lesser amount you can get it if you are only one person no need to worry you can get it for 300 rupees only you are getting huge number of 300 mcqs guys you can search the pdf you can easily revise the pdf you can scroll the pdf so the revision will be really very quick guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the solution so please share this news with your friends and classmates guys in your whatsapp college student unofficial groups so let's get into the solutions of seventh question now which of the following ip addresses does not represent does not represent broadcast address so for seventh question i have got only one solution so i am going with option f guys so i am going with only one option here that is f next eighth one eighth question which of the following statement is or are false for flag bits in tcp header so if you see option a option b and option c all these three are true statements so none of these is the false statement so there is no false statement right so going with i'm going with option d guys so mark option d as the probable solution for eighth question now let's move on to the ninth one ninth question what is the subnet address if the destination ip address is this one and the subnet mask is this so for ninth question i have got the probable solution as option b guys 144.16.34.0 so mark option b and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one an organization is allotted an address block with beginning address as this in cidr notation what will be the address range for that block so for 10th and final question of the assignment the probable solution is option d guys from 24 to 31 so i am just telling the last digits two digits guys so option d is the probable solution for 10th question so i am marking option d guys so friends these are the solutions for week 2 assignment of ethical hacking course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and please share this news with your friends and classmates and don't forget to take this huge number of 300 mcqs google drive pdf pack guys it's a restricted link pdf 
so for one person it is just 300 rupees only if you take it as a group two to five persons combinedly you can get it for 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id bk179 417 at gmail.com so that is guys for this video so so keep supporting us like this so please share this news with your friends and classmates guys so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you